Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. I thought since I'm feeling so good today that I would do another video and get it out for you guys. It's going to be about how our baby chicks are doing. So if you're interested, stay tuned and we'll talk about that right here on Garden Jen's Journey. So this is our chicks that we have in our brooder box here and I just got done tagging the oldest ones which are the bigger ones because uh, soon they're not going to be the biggest anymore because the other ones are starting to catch up. Um, so I want to make sure that we tag them because these guys are purebreds. Um, if you've seen my other videos, um, we had bought some buff Brahmas. And I'll show you what their cousins look like. These big white gals here, those are light Brahmas. So buff Brahmas are uh, the big birds, but they are a brown color. And I don't have any buff Orpingtons around to show you. Um, but see this one here? That one is an amber link. And we actually have some in here that look just like that. Uh, so we have that one there. That one there. And, whoops, sorry. That one back there. Those are all showing the featherings of being the amber link crosses because uh, all the rest of these except for the big ones are all hybrids of our own flock. We have Aracana roosters and then we had nine different other breeds uh, or eight eight different other breeds um, but yeah the amber lynx you can that's what they look like when they are chicks yeah, they're very all white all the way through and then these guys, they almost look like um, the, uh, what the, these guys look like, the Brahmas, as far as their wing colorations, but they don't have the feathering on their feet, so I'm not sure if they are Brahma crosses or not. Um, as you can see, they're very active, very, very happy birds out here. Um, the black ones, they are rock crosses. Whether they are the sapphire gems or the bard rocks, I don't know, but they are rocks. And this one here is that tiny baby that I uh, saved out of its shell when it got glued in its shell. That's either going to be uh, Melman or Mavis if it grows up. Um, so we'll see. It's still tiny compared to all these guys because it had a rough start in life. Um, I posted a picture of it on Instagram when I, um, I first hatched it. That poor thing was stuck in its shell because the membrane had gotten so dehydrated, it basically encased it in its glued on shell. And there was no way that that chick was gonna get out of there. So I had to, over the course of a day, painstakingly uh, peel the shell and the stuck on membrane off that little chick and uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to make it or not but uh, it definitely has a fight to live and even though it's so tiny um, it's fight to live it's will to live is, is just there so uh, we're going to see what it turns out to be um, it's two weeks old now and it's it's eating, it's drinking, it's surviving. So I'm very excited to see that. But yeah, the rest of these guys are doing wonderful. It's nice to finally start seeing some feathers so we can kind of see possibly what the different cross, crosses are. And so these guys here had the feathering kind of a, of a Brahma cross. Because if you compare them to the Brahmas that I know what they actually are, their feathering patterns are similar. 
um, but some Aracanas have those feather patterns too when, when they start feathering out. So it's kind of neat. Um, and then inside I have purebred Aracana eggs that are in the incubator. We have 14 eggs and all of them are fertilized. I candled them the other day. And so um, in a couple weeks, we will have some baby chicks that are purebred Aracanas. So um, that's going to be nice because we wanted to make sure we had a good selection of Aracanas and Brahmas um, as our breeding flock when we start hatching our own from here on out. So looking good, looking good. So I'm going to put the lid back down um, to keep these guys safe from our uh, resident cats and also to make sure that uh, they get enough heat still because it is like only 40 degrees outside in the brooder box the temperature will drop down pretty quick if I don't keep the lid closed you can see they're starting to hub, huddle somewhat underneath the lamp right now and I do have my thermometer in here we're sitting at about 81 so far down here still so it's plenty warm enough but uh, starting to get a little angriness going on here so I'm just gonna put the lid down and let these guys settle down so that is the chicken update okay so that was the update on our baby chicks I hope you liked watching this video if you did give it a thumbs up and share it with others who like to watch farm babies just running around and have a great time. And also how interesting it is to be able to hatch your own babies. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. That way you can stay updated with the journey that we have right here on the homestead. As always, I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time everybody, Bye-bye.